Hi, what's up? You've probably seen Optimum Tech's video about the Wu-Ting and Razer keyboards for the Snap Tap and Snappy Tappies, and you're wondering how you can get it on your keyboard, which by the way, you can, but yeah, it's a big topic, controversial, kind of, but I've actually made a video about it last week, and it gained a lot of tractions, a lot of views, and a lot of support, which by the way, I do appreciate, but this one is actually using a script, the auto hotkey, program with a null bind movement script as you can see right here on your screen but it does work in practically every games except for face it cs2 and the finals uh, those two doesn't count it as kind of like banned but they blacklisted the auto hockey program which means if you have it open in the background that specific game would not open um, so you got to exit it out, which kind of defeats the purpose of the auto hotkey script. Now, a few hours ago, nine hours ago, this program has been released, which is called the snap key. Now, all you got to do is go to this link, links on the description down below, and you can just click on the snap key that zip and download that. Once you got it downloaded, this is, you know, the zip file, just right click it, 7-zip extract files, press OK, and you're going to get this folder. That looks like that and you have the program called snapkey.exe now there is a new program so nobody knows if you can actually get banned with it but i will update you on the comment section below i'll try it for the whole day today and um, if i get any of my accounts banned then you can thank me later because you would know anyway it would pop up on your task um, bar notification center kind of thingy this arrow and then it's this icon the yellow and green you can just right click that and you can actually rebind the keys now it uses ASCII, um, which is kind of like a code for your keys on your keyboard, which means this program right here is actually applicable for practically everything on your keyboard, but you can only do it for, for keys, if, uh, if that makes sense. So I can change the number of the key one and then the key two, so that it would do the snap tap thing on those two keys, if that makes sense. Uh, but I would keep it on WASD because as you can see right there. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you do change some settings, you got to have to restart snap tap or snap keys. If you didn't change any settings, then you can just go on with your day now. Let me show you. Go to CS2. I have snapped snap keys on. If I'm pressing, I'm holding A right here. I pressed A once and I'm going to press D. And then it's just going to move A, D, A, D, A. And um, same thing with W and S. I don't have to let go of any of the buttons um, just to go forward and back. And um, yeah, that's basically um, snap tap and snap keys. Uh, does it make you a better aimer? Again, it just gives you the fluidity of the movement, but will never make you just exceptionally good player out of randomness that's about it thank you so much guys for watching hit that like button subscribe share this video with your friends and um check out the comment section just so you know if this thing is not allowed on certain programs and whatsoever so far it is working on apex legends and of course cs2 and all the other games but i will comment it on the comment section below if it does work with the finals and the cs2 anti-cheat have a nice day and Good luck playing your games.